Hello and welcome to a bad Lego review. Today I'm going to be having a look at the Marvel Superhero Lego 76006 Iron Man 3 um, boat chase thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, <clears throat> quite a small set, this is the, or the middle set of the, the three Iron Man 3 Lego sets. Quick look at the minifigures and we'll have a look at the, the boat itself that features in this set. So first of all we have Iron Man, Tony Stark, uh, Mark 42 armour, so I'll give you a nice close look at that. So this set features in two, or well, this minifigure features in two sets, sorry, this and the Malibu Mansion, which I've also reviewed. Bat printing as well. Same standard mask which flips up and we have the Tony Stark, cocky Tony Stark and the whoops I'm in trouble Tony Stark face which is quite cool and we also have in this set which is going to be a big draw and the reason I bought this set War Machine um, if you haven't seen the film, there is going to be, I might talk about the film a little bit, but basically this minifigure doesn't feature in this film really at all. It's a different armour that Colonel Rhodes or Rhodey wears, which is the Iron Patriot armour, which if you're going to get the Marvel Super Heroes game in America, you pre-order it from Walmart, you can get that Iron Patriot suit, but not in the UK at the moment. So there's two sides to, to Colonel Rhodes. I'm just going to take off... or take off this shoulder mount, this shoulder gun, to give you just a look at the, the back printing with the American star there. And his, just some of his insignia. There you go. So that was the reason I bought this minifigure and a lot of people will, will be the same. As I said, he does come with a, a gun which you can clip onto the back of him. But it is basically a lightsaber hilt in a clip, which is okay. Pretty straightforward. Now the third and final minifigure is, I'll say, one of the baddies from the film. Killian Aldridge, or Aldridge Killian, I can't remember. Again, he has a double sided face, one with the extremist sort of rage, fire, as it looks like in the film, and one as his sort of human form. This, like the baddie in the Malibu Mansion set, has a glow in the dark head, and he is escaping or using the boat to escape, and he sits in there. Again, as always, we have flick missiles, but this time they're triggered by pulling this down. So I'll kind of do a demonstration towards the, the background there. You see those fly out, which is a good way of releasing them. You can do one at a time or both. And this does have a compartment with some dynamite in. However, this boat I don't think features in the film at all. Yet yeah, in a comic that comes with all the Iron Man 3 uh, Lego sets, um, the boat clearly features in this little storyline, but buy it and, and read it or watch it and make your own mind up. The final part of this is a buoy, or buoy as Americans seem to call it, which is something that floats in the water, which is this blue. And again, this pops up. Again, there's an extra little thing that you can make happen. Not the most interesting piece of Lego I've ever seen, but something else to make this this boat just stick out a little bit more. Because there's not much else it does, unfortunately. So as I said, for this set, it's not the cheapest, but it's not the most expensive. And a lot of people will buy it for War Machine armour. Again, pretty disappointed with the Iron Man 3 Lego, but people are still buying it. I've bought two of the three sets and I'm probably going to buy the last one just so I can get the Heartbreaker armour 
but I don't think there'll be many kids who are going to buy all three sets. And as it's nowhere near Christmas yet, I don't think this is going to sell as well as they'd have hoped. Um, so this has been a bad Lego review. Check out my other reviews and subscribe, comment, let me know what you think, what you'd like me to do more of. Thanks for watching. See you next time.